Hey Virgo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for mid-July of 2024. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. And this is for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus placements. And we have the Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. I feel like with the Five of Pentacles, maybe right now you're going through a situation that has been, for the most part, maybe a little bit challenging. But I kind of feel like, if anything, what you're seeing is the true colors of a person or a situation. And I feel like that is going to at least help you figure out what your next steps should be. Because I kind of feel like right now, you're starting to realize, okay, I can't really stay in this position or I can't stay near this energy. Something has to change because I want to feel better. So for some of you, it kind of feels like you could be making a decision to either walk away from a relationship or maybe some sort of a job um, that has been, hasn't been serving you or has been toxic or negative. And I feel like with the full card right behind that five of pentacles, this is you saying, this is the perfect opportunity or the perfect reason for me to do that thing that I've been wanting to do for a really long time because I kind of feel like with the fool you're not just going to you know all of a sudden spring into action and do something different there's something you have been called to do you have this calling you have this passion you have this drive but you've been kind of waiting to see if this other situation would change or not and I feel like now that you're starting to see the true colors you're saying okay now I feel more justified in taking the leap of faith so we have the Hanged one, which is Pisces, the star, which is Cancer, the ace of wands, and the temperance, which is Sagittarius. Maybe you have Aquarius, Pisces, or Sagittarius placements, but I kind of feel like for you, Virgo, this is about you having that epiphany where you're like, you know what, maybe this is where I turn things around for myself. Maybe I take a disappointing situation and I make it so that I have this new beginning and this reason to try something else. Because I kind of feel like with the hanged man, you're tired of waiting or seeing if things are going to change. You're tired of giving something the benefit of the doubt and always being, you know, left with the same mindset or with the same answer. I kind of feel like with the temperance, you're saying time is up. You know, time is up. No more waiting for things to change. I'm going to go ahead and make this my opportunity and I feel like with the star you are feeling hopeful you're feeling excited you're feeling renewed at the idea of doing something different um, especially now that you know that something is just not going to change so let's go ahead and clarify the hanged man we have the page of wands yeah, I feel like with the Page of Wands, you're already starting to take the steps to not being in this position anymore. You're looking for, you know, the maybe the opportunities, you're looking at information, you're getting what you need, you're keeping your mind and your eyes open. I feel like with the Page of Wands, this is you saying, I'm getting ready, I'm getting prepared, I'm doing what I need to do to set myself up for success. Right behind the Page of Wands is the King of Pentacles, which to me is kind of like the optimal you know, place to be. It's to be stable, grounded, abundant. It's to have that stability, um, you know, to feel rich in not how you, not how much money you make so much so, but rich in the fact that you live the life that is resonating with you, that is meaningful to you, that you're doing things that give you happiness and comfort, right? So this is what you are looking for. We have the Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, and the Four of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like with the Four of Pentacles, this is you maybe also saying, well, I need to start being more, um, you know, careful about where I'm spending my money or my energy because I want to get very serious about this next step. So maybe with the Four of Pentacles, you're starting to be a little bit more, you know, um, selective with how you spend your energy or who you spend it with. I kind of feel like with the Ace of Swords, you're receiving a lot of clarity, you're getting a lot of downloads, and things are becoming so clear that maybe with the Seven of Cups, you can almost pinpoint or separate the things that can stay in your life from the things that can't. And maybe with the Seven of Cups, there's also a lot of different ways that you can go. Maybe you're interested in different things. So you're you're trying to think about them in short-term versus long-term perspective. Uh, maybe you're trying to make an analysis. Okay, if I do this now, how will this affect me then? If I do that then, how will it affect me now? Just things like that. I just feel like with the Page of Wands, your thinking is very imaginative. It's very creative. You're really looking at all of the possible scenarios because 
you know, this is an important time. If you're trying to get out of hanged man mode, then you need to do a lot of things. You need to be now suddenly in action mode, right? So um, naturally, it feels like you're getting ready for that. Let's clarify the star. And we have the Two of Cups, which to me also confirms that some of you are really getting close to your true dream, your true um, your true love. For some of you, this could be love-related. Um, we have the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. So I feel like for a lot of you, maybe you feel renewed or you feel as though things finally are going to be different because you have love on your side. You have the support of someone um, that means a lot to you. Maybe that's what you needed in order to take the leap of faith, right? Sometimes that happens where we don't feel comfortable doing something until we get the approval or the support, I should say, from that person. And I feel like with that Two of Cups and even with this, with the Justice right behind it, which is Libra, this could be you finally getting that and feeling like, okay, things are stable. This makes sense. Now, now that I have this on my side, I can do anything. So there's, you know, this sense of hope here because of that. And with the Queen of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, I kind of feel like maybe this new opportunity that you're going to have is really going to allow you to kind of see that, you know, maybe the limitations that we place on ourselves serve a purpose after all. I just feel like there's a learning experience here. And with the Queen of Pentacles, maybe you're connecting to an Earth sign um, or another Earth sign, I should say. A Taurus, maybe a Capricorn, maybe another Virgo, or maybe this Queen of Pentacles is you feeling... Um, as though you no longer have to search for something anymore. Kind of like you have what you need and that feeling can be very satisfying. Maybe, you know, mid-July is, is a moment where you no longer feel that emptiness or a feeling of loss. It's kind of like, you know, you, you just, you have what you need. I don't know how else to describe it. Let's go ahead and clarify the temperance. Page of Cups. Yeah. I just feel like your fulfillment, you know, that feeling is going to increase tenfold. Um, we have the Six of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Genuinely, I feel like everything you need is going to be here in this new space, energy, environment. Um, with that Nine of Cups, there's going to be that satisfaction, that fulfillment, you know, maybe even the opportunity to give more to yourself because you're not going to be, you know, so depleted. Uh, for being in an energy that doesn't serve you. With the Eight of Wands, you're going to be receiving a lot of communication or information that is important, uh, maybe even validating. And I feel like with the Six of Wands, you're going to feel like you've won. You're going to feel as though you've made the right choice. You're in a better place. You're going to feel so different. Um, and it's only a matter of time. So really love this for you. Hope you take it all in. And if you like this reading and it resonated, please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.